Vince McMahon was ousted from WWE in 2022. Then he texted 2023 like, you up? Wow, you're in the mix with Pro Wrestling Bits. WWE had a wild year in 2022. They still made a record amount of money and will continue to do so, but 2022 will forever go down as the tale of two halves. The last six months of the Vince McMahon era and the first six months of the Triple H era. 2022 in WWE was like a basketball game where the board of directors fired the head coach at halftime. By no means has the Triple H era been perfect, but it's been a massive improvement creatively and even ratings wise. But WWE might not want to get too comfortable because my first prediction for WWE in 2023 is the return of Vince McMahon. Rich white man with an ownership stake wants his power back? I like his chances. These are the Yakubian principles that America was built on. Don't talk to me about shareholders and all the bad PR it'll bring WWE. This is a fake wrestling company and any backlash would only exist inside the ever shrinking pro wrestling bubble. A bubble that's as loud as it is harmless. In a recent survey, 33% of random adults couldn't even name a single pro wrestler and most of those who could named Hulk Hogan and The Rock. Nobody is watching this shit outside of dedicated wrestling fans, so a Vince McMahon return would likely fly under the mainstream radar, and after a day or two of do-nothing outrage from the wrestling bubble on Twitter, Vince would be back at Gorilla, business as usual. Look, I'm not here to rank the outrage, but WWE brushed off backlash from dealing with Saudi Arabia and bringing back Hulk Hogan, and on and on that list goes. Vince McMahon still owns a majority of WWE, and if he's plotting a comeback, Triple H should be very nervous. Sports owners like Donald Sterling and Robert Starver have been pressured to sell their teams, but that pressure came from league owners who came together to force them out. This ain't the NWA, brother. Nobody can or will pressure Vince McMahon to sell his stock except for Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Remember, this is the same country that elected Donald J. Trump as president of these United States, despite his similar allegations of sexual misconduct, NDAs and all. Even if pro wrestling had a better moral compass than America, which it does not, nobody takes WWE nearly as seriously as the American political establishment. So Vince McMahon will have a much easier time existing as a toxic figure in a wrestling industry that's littered with him. Vince McMahon's possible return could make things difficult for NBCU because I expect NBC Universal to make an offer to buy WWE in 2023. Let's be clear, I only expect an offer to be made. I don't necessarily think this will result in a sale. WWE will be negotiating its television rights in 2023, and Nick Khan is very bullish about getting a massive increase even after signing multiple billion dollar deals in 2019. Most WWE programming airs on NBCU, and the USA Network's heartbeat depends strictly on WWE Raw. WWE has all the leverage here and may even benefit from a bidding war if Fox decides they don't want to let SmackDown go. If NBCU is planning to bid on SmackDown, it might as well buy the entire company to save money in the long run and to not have to deal with the threat of WWE leaving in the future and thereby killing the USA Network. The problem with that scenario is Vince McMahon is still the majority owner of WWE. And as long as he's out on his ass, I don't see Vince selling a goddamn thing until he's back in power and the sale happens on his terms. NBCU would have to pony up a pretty penny to get Vince to agree to sell, but I don't think it's about the money for Vince. It's about power and control and he will lose all of the above if NBCU buys WWE. All this TV money flying around will be great for free agents like FTR. During my AEW predictions, I predicted FTR leaves AEW for WWE in 2023. For my WWE prediction, I'll take a step further and predict FTR is the team to dethrone the Usos and end their historic tag team title reign. Yes, the smart money is on Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, but if FTR is coming in, I can see WWE keeping the belts on the Usos as a mean to entice FTR into signing and making a big splash, ideally on the Raw after Mania. Dax Harwood noted FTR's contract is up in April, and if true, that timing lines up almost perfectly. FTR's losing streak continued as they just dropped the AAA tag team titles to Los Hermanos Lee. FTR is cooling off faster than Wardlow this winter, but it doesn't have to be that way. 
FTR is old school, and in the territory days, now would be the time a team like FTR left the territory to go be a fresh act somewhere else. FTR can heat up all over again by leaving the territory in AEW and returning to WWE as the revival. Before we get to this next prediction, does your testosterone need a revival? Do you even know? Well, let's find out together with today's sponsor, Let's Get Checked. Guys, if you're thinking about your 2023 bodybuilding goals, then I have an important message for you. Hitting your goals are gonna be next to impossible if your testosterone levels are in decline. It doesn't matter how old you are. The average male testosterone level has been declining at a rate of 1% per year since the 1980s. Low T can lead to lack of strength, decreases in bulk, and even male menopause, which causes a lower sex drive. I urge you to test your testosterone levels in 2023, and you can do it all with help from today's sponsor, Let's Get Checked. I love Let's Get Checked because it gives me the freedom to measure my testosterone levels without having to get permission from a doctor first. You don't have to leave your home. You don't have to get off your couch. You don't have to go to a lab to get your blood drawn. It's very convenient. Here's me taking the test myself. Just took a quick and painless blood sample, followed the user-friendly instructions, and sent this bad boy to the lab. Got my results back that same week, and here they are. Long story short, my testosterone levels are lit because like Hangman Adam Page, I am a man. According to the analytics for this wrestling YouTube channel, so are you probably. Once your sample arrives in the laboratory, confidential results will be available on your secure online account in two to five days. Let's Get Check Laboratories are CLIA and CAP approved, which is the highest level of accreditation. Your results are reviewed by a member of the Let's Get Check clinical team, and they can even give you a virtual consultation, and in some cases, the clinical team can prescribe you medication that'll be ready at the pharmacy of your choice. So if you want to test your testosterone levels from the comfort of your own home, visit trylgc.com slash pro wrestling bits for 25% off using the code WRESTLING25, also available in my description. As hot as FTR would be in WWE, nobody is hotter than Sami Zayn right now, whom I predict will win the 2023 Royal Rumble. WWE is doing fantastic work with its Bloodline storyline. My favorite part about this saga is there's all kinds of directions they can take it, and so many shows where they can have peak moments. This Friday for John Cena's return on SmackDown could lead to a big moment, as will the Royal Rumble in January, Montreal's Elimination Chamber in February, WWE TV on the road to WrestleMania in March, and ultimately WrestleMania Inglewood in April. WWE is teasing Roman Reigns turning on Sami Zayn all over again. All this will they or won't they like they're in an office romance on The Office. I expect Zayn to screw up and cost both him and Reigns a win against Cena and Owens, leading to more tension between Reigns and Zayn. I see Sami winning the Royal Rumble, and though Roman Reigns will expect Sami to relinquish his win and claim loyalty to the Tribal Chief, Sami will choose to challenge Roman Reigns for the WWE Championship, not at WrestleMania, but at Elimination Chamber in his home country of Montreal. Similar to how John Cena won the 2008 Royal Rumble and challenged Randy Orton at No Way Out. And just like John Cena failed to win the WWE Championship at No Way Out, I expect Sammy to come up short in February, but the Canadian crowd will go home happy following an emotional reunion between Kevin and Sammy. Sami Zayn winning the Royal Rumble sounds like bad news for that god Cody Rhodes, but White Jesus will be just fine because Cody Rhodes will dethrone Roman Reigns in 2023. Cody doesn't have to win the Royal Rumble to chart his path to WrestleMania. In fact, bonus prediction, I say Seth Rollins will eliminate Cody Rhodes at the Royal Rumble and set up a fourth match between the two. Whether or not Cody can beat Seth for a fourth time in a row, I see Cody winning the Elimination Chamber to earn his shot at Roman Reigns come WrestleMania. And when Cody beats Roman to honor his father's legacy, say hello to the Winged Eagle Championship. Check out this video with AEW predictions for 2023 and subscribe or I predict your algorithm will suck next year. What are your WWE predictions for 2023? Tell me in the comments.